the Daily Gospel Network, spreading the good news of Jesus Christ every day. Join our featured ministry for happiness, healing, and purpose. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us as we proclaim God's love and help you step into your season. Coming up on the Daily Gospel Network. Welcome church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. Hey everyone and welcome to One Touch Ministries where we believe in touching hearts and changing lives. My name is Pastor Shady Young and this is my beautiful, lovely, awesome, amazing, greatest wife that you could ever have in the world. That's enough. That's enough? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hey everybody, God bless you. Thank you so much for joining One Touch Ministries at the Daily Gospel. We are so excited to have you. Yes, we are. And we are excited to be able to be in your homes today. Yes, absolutely. And tomorrow is our chain... I forgot the name of my own conference. It's called Game Changers. Game Changers Conference! <laughs> Listen, tomorrow at 5 o'clock p.m., uh, we want you to join us and go to our website www.onetouchministries.net forward slash game changers and we'll send you the link tonight to join us. So God bless you and watch this promotional trailer. Amen. Is about to stop them from the goal that they're trying to get to so he calls an audible he makes a switch in the play right before he hikes the ball and so for right now in this time in this season God is saying that he's calling an audible and he needs for you to come into this zoom so that you can know what the game plan is so that we can provide game-changing experiences for you right now Hey, it's Pastor Clay, and I am so excited to be talking to you right here, right now, in this moment. As I look around me, I'm here in Northern Indiana, and I see snow melting all around me. And let me just tell you, for this Texas boy, that brings me a lot of joy. But I wanna say this, as I see snow melting, it reminds me that the seasons are changing. And I believe that seasons are not only changing in the natural, but I believe seasons are changing in the supernatural. And I believe that God wants to change maybe a season that you've been going through in your life. Maybe it's been a rough season, maybe it's been a bad season, but on the other side of that, the sunshine comes out and God wants to do something great. And so a game changing moment is about to take place in so many people's lives. And so I'm excited to just bring that message to you today. Let's pray, let's prepare, and let's see what God can do in this new season. What I consider the real pandemic isn't COVID, um, it's not the flu, it's not the COVID vaccine, it's not 2020, it's not Trump, it's not Proud Boys, um, it's not somebody going into, into the Capitol building, it's not terrorism, any of those things. The real pandemic that I see, and that I see that's really plaguing us in America, and even the American church as a whole, um, and globally, is a pandemic called fear. The Bible says that that perfect love casts out all fear. It also says that God, our Father, the one who loves us, the one who called us according to his purpose and set us on his path in life and in righteousness, that he hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and a sound mind. Grace and peace. I just wanted to let someone know and remind somebody that all things are possible 
to them that believe. The first part of that verse says, if you can believe, then all things are possible to those that believe. Only believe. Trust God. Yes, a lot of times it's easier said than done. But trust God, there are some great things coming our way. God made us the game changers in the earth. So we are going to change the game. We are going to change the assignment of the enemy. We are going to change the assignment of those that are in power. God gave us the weapons, our worship, our prayer, our warfare, our praise. Only believe, only believe. And do not forget that because God is the greatest power, we shall never be defeated. In Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord, everybody. Listen. Right where you are, I want you to get your family together. Tell them to get around the television. I want you to get comfortable because God has a word for you today. I know you're probably saying, well, I don't have anybody around me right now. Well, pick up the phone, call one of your friends, call one of your neighbors and say, listen, turn on the daily gospel because prophet is not Dietra Young has a word from God for you today. Oh, I'm so truly excited because God is getting ready to do a brand new thing inside of you. And I want you to know that it is your time. It is your season for God to do a change in you. But you have to be willing and ready and able to receive what God has for you. All right now, we're getting ready to get right into the word because God has given me a word for you and I want to make sure that you get it. I want to make sure that you receive it. And most of all, I want you to make sure that you have it inside of your belly, inside your heart, and that you can carry this word with you throughout the day, throughout your life. My God from Zion, and most of all, you can reflect back on the word because the word is going to bless you today. Listen, right where you are, I want you to bow your head. And I want you to come with me to the throne of grace because God is good and we want to honor him and we want God to move in this place. We want God to move in your life and we want God to move in your situation. And the only thing that we can do right now is go head on and pray. Father, we come to you as humble as we know how, thanking you for blessing. Thank you for, for keeping us. Thank you for doing all that you do for us, God. We thank you because, God, you are able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we could ever ask or think. Father, we thank you right now because, God, you are making ways out of no way for us. God, we thank you for most of our life today. God, we're able to live another day. God, we thank you for allowing us to stay alive, God. God, it's so many different and things that are going on uh, out here in the world, God, and people are dying left and right. But God, you saw fit uh, to wake me up this morning, closed in my right mind. Didn't have to do it, but you did it. And Father, we just want to say thank you. Thank you, Jesus. And we give you praise, glory, and honor in Jesus Christ's name. Take this word, Father, and allow it to touch your people. Allow it to heal your people. Allow it to change your people right now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, my God from Zion. I'm excited. I am truly excited because this word, I do believe, is going to bless your life. Listen, I want you to turn with me to Job, the first chapter, verse 6. I'll say that again. Get your Bibles, get your electronic Bibles, get your uh, uh, your 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 book, your, the Bible itself. Go get it. And I want you to read this word with me. I'm going to be reading from the Amplified, Amplified Version because sometimes the King Version can be a little confusing sometimes. But with the Amplified, it allows you to understand it. It breaks down the word. And you know what? You'll receive it so much better. All right? We're going to go down to Job, the first chapter, verse 6. Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord and Satan also came among them. The Lord said to Satan, from where have you come? Then Satan answered the Lord, from roaming around on the earth and from walking around on it. My God from Zion. The Lord said to Satan, Have you considered and reflected on my servant Job? 
<laughs> For there is none like him on earth, a blameless, upright man, one who fears God. <laughs> oh, God. And abstains from and turns away from evil because he honors God. So today, God had gave me a topic. He said, you're built for it. My God from Zion. No. The topic is, you're built for this. A lot of times in life, we're saying, oh my goodness, this is happening. This is happening. My life is falling apart. My marriage is falling apart. My children are going bananas. God, what am I doing? God told me to tell you today, you're built for this. <laughs> my God. But if I were used for a uh, subtopic today, it would be, <laughs> little by little, you're still built for this. <laughs> Glory yes. to God. Yes. Little by little, you're still built for this. <laughs> My God. And the reason why we say little by little, because sometimes it feels like you're picking your, uh, your, your life up piece by piece. Little by little, you're putting your life back together. And that's what the Holy Spirit is doing. Little by little is the Holy Spirit is putting your life back together in order. Oh yeah, ba 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 shake robo kose. You got to remember one thing in life. Life is a process. Mm -hmm. <laughs> life is a process. You can't get to the next level overnight. It takes time. It takes time to get to the next level. And little by little, God has a way that is mighty sweet. He has a way that he wants to be able to pick you up and turn you around. But he has to do a little by little. My God, because why? He wants you to be able to appreciate the process. Okay, <laughs> you're saying what? Yeah, appreciate the process. There's going to be times in your life where you, you're going to be uh, homeless. Or there's going to be times in your life where the money seems a little bit short. It's going to be times in your life, uh, my God from Zion, uh, when it seems like there's not enough food in your meal barrel. Uh, it's going to be a time in your life where the bills begin to stack way, 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 way high. Uh, and glory to God. Uh, and it's going to seem like, God, what am I supposed to do? But God said, little by little. I'm going to work everything out. You're in a process right now and you must understand what's the process. It's going to take a little bit of time. It's going to take time, but little by little, you're still built for this battle. Yes. Okay, I'm going to take yes. my time on this. I'm going to try. I'm going to try. Okay, let me tell you a little something about Job. Job was one of those kind of people, like God said, he was an upright man. He was a blameless man. He was a man that was willing to do whatever it took to please God. He come, ba 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 ba. And you say, well, uh, I, I believe I'm a little Job. Well, if you are a little Job, you can relate to this story. It, you'll do anything to please God. But it seems like every time you try to please God, evil is still lurking behind you. Yeah. It seems like every time you want to do right, there's always some evil standing behind you. My God, there's always yapping at your heels and pulling you down and pushing you and pulling on you and pushing you from every which way. But it seems like you just can't get a little bit of peace. But God said, huh, today is your day to receive your peace. Because little by little, huh, you're still built for this. Okay. So little by little, Job was still built huh, for this time and this season. Job was an upright man. He was a rich man. And he had children. But his children did not always do right. And because Job, my mama, my, 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 because Job loved God so much, because he honored them, honored God so much, he would send up burnt offerings on behalf of his children, the children who would not listen. Something like your 
your children sitting at home. Uh, they don't like to listen. Uh, they won't be respectful to the voice of the Lord. Uh, they don't want to be obedient. They don't want to listen to you. Uh, they want to do what they want to do. They seem like they got all the answers. They know every daggone thing. But let me hear, let me hear, let me hear, let me hear. Let me tell you something. Uh, my brother and my sister, don't worry about it. Uh, because one yeah. thing about it, God has a way that is mighty sweet. And he knows how to get the attention of your children and he knows how to get your attention as well. Job had children and every time they would get together Job knew that they were doing some unseemly things so Job would send up a burnt offering on behalf of his children but one day a messenger came by and I'm paraphrasing but I want you to take the time to read the whole book of Job because you'll get a great understanding why the, the topic is I'm built for it uh, yeah. because Job uh, had to show that he was built for this situation but before the messenger came uh, God had to release something in the atmosphere so the devil wanted to know about Job and God told the devil he told Satan he said you know what I want you to uh consider my servant Job, an upright man. Huh? And, and Satan said, okay, well, I can do that, God. But um, I'm going to need you to uh take the hedge of protection that you have surrounding Job. Huh? I'm going to need you to release that thing. Huh? Oh, glory to God. And you probably say, oh, 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 God does that? Oh, yes, there's times when God allows huh, the devil. See, you got to remember, I keep trying to tell people, you give the devil just a little bit too much uh, credit. Huh? See, the devil can't do something unless God gives him what? Permission. Yes. All right, all right, all yes. right. Some of y'all don't understand it. The devil can't do something unless God gives him the permission to do it. So God gave the devil, gave Satan permission, hallelujah, to antagonize, uh, and to antagonize uh, his upright man uh, named Job. Oh, yeah, ba He gave him permission to what? Antagonize his spirit, antagonize him as an individual, and to attack. His goods. Hmm. See, a lot of us don't mind serving God just as long as nobody touched the material. Well. There's times when you don't mind serving God just as long as nobody's touching your money. But I am here to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to come a time when your money will get funny. <laughs> and your change will become Real, real strange. And there's going to become a time when your material things will not be anymore. You may lose everything that you have. But you have to remember that God gave the devil, Satan, permission to mess with you. Because he knew at the end of the day, little by little, you were still built for it. Okay. <laughs> Glory yes. to God. <laughs> mm. So God knew that uh -huh, that Satan was going to antagonize Job. So God said, I'm going to give you permission to antagonize my upright, my good man named Job. But I want you to know one thing, Satan. You can do whatever you want to do. <laughs> you can do whatever you want, but you can't kill him. Can't take his life. He said, okay. You can't touch his soul. So one thing you have to remember, the devil, the Satan, he may come in many shapes and forms. He may come in many different avenues, but he can't take you out. Because why? He does not have the permission from God to take you out. Wow. This is why the, the topic states, you're built for this. And this is why the subtopic says, little by little, you're still built for this because when you're in a process a lot of times you go through things in life uh, and what happens is you become so distraught and my god it seems like you fall and then when you fall it seems like you don't never know how to get up and when you do get up uh, god has to still remind you you're still little by little you're still built for this situation you can go through the fire without getting burned uh, without 
smelling like you have uh, smoke coming from your body. So God allowed Satan to antagonize Job. So what happened was uh, Job uh, had things happening. His children were taken away from him. Hallelujah. My God from Zion. Uh, and not only was his children taken away, uh, then all of a sudden uh, all his riches was gone. So when somebody takes your children, when somebody mm. takes your riches, it seems like you have nothing left to live for. And by this time, Job had got on his knees and he began to cry out, ripping his clothes. I cursed the day that I was born. That means he really did not have anything else to live for. He felt like I'm just so done because you done took my babies. And after you took my babies, you done took my God, you done took my riches. What more do I have to live for? I'm done. I'm a dried up old man. It's time for me to go. But God said, he sent me by to just let you know you're built for this. And then he said, even when you fall and you get back up again, yeah. he wanted me to just remind you, little by little, you're still built for this thing. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, glory to God from Zion. And I praise God today because Job, uh, he was going through it. Uh, and he was going through it some more. Then all of a sudden his body, his body became attacked. And when his body became attacked, uh, it seemed like, okay, all hope really was gone. Uh, oh, glory to God. Uh, it seemed like there was nobody else uh, that can just harm him. He was already done. Huh? But then he was married to a woman huh, that did not huh, have a good mindset. This is why huh? sometimes you got to be careful who you marry. Huh? Because if you marry a person who has no faith, has no willpower to live, has no uh, 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 enthusiasm when it comes down to God, and has no faith knowing that God will heal, set you free, what happens is they'll whisper these words into your ear. Why don't you just curse God and die? Oh, she Those are the words that her, uh, oh my God, Job's wife began to say to him. She said, Job, uh, we done lost our babies. Uh, we done lost our riches. And yeah. now your body is filled with all these nasty, stinky boils. Uh, Why don't you go ahead and curse God and die? Why don't you just go ahead and die? This is why we got to be careful who we are connected to. Who got my God from Zion? And then well, after a while, they had to send Job uh, over to the land, a uh, land uh, where all the sick people were. And then here come some friends of his. Here come some friends in quotation marks. Uh, some friends of his trying to figure out what was wrong with Job. Uh, and they were just a little silly in the mind of as well. My God, this is why we got to be careful who we have in our circles. Oh, yeah, ba, 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 ba. Because when you got people that are loosey goosey here in the mind, meaning the mind is not stable, meaning they don't have the willpower to pray for you, meaning they don't have the faith, they don't have faith in God enough to know that you will get healed. Yeah. When you got friends around you that don't have no hope, all that hope is already gone. And then when you have friends that don't want to see you climb the ladder, they don't want to see you get to the next level. Oh, mama, mama, you better check your circle. You better check who you have around. Because sometimes you got to do a snip, snip. Sometimes you got to do some cutting. His friends begin to ask him some questions. One of them was so stupid, he had to ask him, well, what did you do wrong? A lot of times we don't do nothing wrong. It's just life. It falls on us like that. Yes. But because God told me to come by and remind you, hey, glory to God, you are built for this. And little by little, you still are built for this thing. Oh, yeah, ba 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 ba. My God from Zion. His friends begin to try to encourage him that there was something wrong, that he did something wrong. My God. 
But let me tell you guys one thing. You got to get to the point where you know that you have been faithful. When you know that you have been faithful. Yes. When you know that you've been loyal to God. Know that you have been upright. You got to remember there's nothing wrong. This is just a part of my process. A lot of times we want the oil. A lot of times we want the anointing. We want the power of God. But we don't want to go through the process. Uh, but I'm here to tell you. Uh, it's time for you to go through. Uh, it's time for you to take a step. Uh, in the process. Uh, I'm ba -ba 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 -cos, uh, you can't skip phase two. Uh, in order to get to phase three. Uh, my God you got to go through one, two, three. Uh, my God from Zion. Because every time you skip uh, a process. Uh, every time you try to avoid something. Uh, you miss the most important pieces of the puzzles. Uh, my mm -hmm. God from Zion. And what makes you have to come back around. Uh, and do it all over again. Uh, I shouldn't do it all over again. Uh, my God. God said is no more. Uh, God he said he wants to help you cut the cycle of redoing things over and over and over and over again. Uh, yes. God said today is your day uh, to hit the next level. Yes you may have had your job experience. Yes you may have had lost your family. Yes, you may have lost your riches. May You may have lost that spouse. My God from Zion. You may have had a couple of silly friends talking a lot, a whole bunch of junk in your ear. God said, clog your ears and listen to me. Oh, yeah. God said, it's time for you to break free and go head on and do what I called you to do. Because my sister, my brother, you are built. When I say you are built, you are built for this. And little by little, I say little by little, I say little by little, you're built for it again. Oh, yeah, God wants to take you to a whole nother level, even though you're in your job experience, even though you're going through right now. If you just stretch your hands wide and say, Father, I am in my job experience, but God. I just want you to know I still trust you One thing about Job Even though he was in his experience And I'm coming to a close He still trusts God Yes Yes, I said yes, yes. he still trusts God. You got to get to the point where you still trust God. You won't let go of God's word. You won't let go of the prophecies. You got to remember one thing that God is able and he will keep you from falling. He'll keep you. Hallelujah. But only if you want to be kept. You can't fight God in the process. You got to embrace the process because one thing about a renewing of the mind, it takes just a little bit of time. Huh? It ain't gonna happen overnight. Huh? Some things may take a few years. Huh? Some things may take a few months. Huh? Some things may take a few hours. Huh? But one thing about it, you must stay huh? in the process. Huh? You must stay huh? in the process. Huh? I'm telling you to hold on today. If you don't know anything else, huh? hold on to God's huh? unchanging hand. Woo! Glory to God. And that's what Job did. He held on to the God. He held to God's unchanging hand. One thing about God, he won't change. He won't change. People may change, but God will never change. I want you to trust God. If you need God to change your life because you are in a Job experience, Come on. Go ahead and reach your hands up right now and begin to talk to God. Let God know that, God, I'm in a Job experience. I need you right now. God, I've lost everything, and I need you to help me grow. I need you to help me to grow, Father. I need you to build my faith up right now in the name of Jesus. God, teach me how to trust you. Mm. Teach me how to trust you, Father. Teach me how to lean on you, Father, and not lean to my own understanding. And I'm telling you, the more that you do this for the next seven days, watch God begin to bring things back in order. Watch God turn your life upside down. Watch God do what he said he would do for you. But within Hashiandorobosa, you have got to put your best foot forward. You've got to stay in a race. you got to remember the race is never given to the swift. For more information on today's Spotlight Church, 
visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network. And until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.